Here we are. Boop. Hi, Charlie the Demon Bell. Hi, Ivy. Miss Abby Spirit. Hi, gang. Hi, Ivy. Miss Abby Spirit. Oh, I see the I see the delay you're talking about now. Okay. Shady Shaper. What's up? What up? Cool. Cool. Oh. <clears throat> well, okay. here we are. We're back. Hi. What's happening, guys? Another week of this thing. Uh, everybody, welcome to Between Two Nerds, your favorite live source uh, for voter registration info as well as interviews with your favorite notable nerds. I'm JP Karliak. I'm Courtney Taylor. And we are thrilled to have an extremely amazing guest today. The one, the only, One Punch yes. Man, Max Middleman. Middleman. Ah, ah. Ah. That just sounds... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, before we get going, we just wanted to let you know some uh, voter reg info. First of all... Uh, May voter registration deadlines are right here. Uh, West Virginia is on the 19th. Kentucky, Montana, uh, New York, all of these are your voter registration deadlines for your primaries, not for the big one in uh, November. Those will be later. But uh, every election is important. uh, So make sure that you are registered. And because, you know, we're in the middle of a pandemic, uh, and you'd like to be able to vote by mail, make sure that you check out, uh, you'll see in the link below in the comment, bit.ly slash nerds at home, uh, which will let you know all the ways that you can register to vote by mail in your state. It is different for every state. Um, yeah. Only places like California, Colorado, Hawaii, Oregon, Washington, and Utah will automatically get a ballot if you are a registered voter. So otherwise, you have to register specifically to vote by mail. That's right. And if somebody says you need a reason to vote by mail, give them a reason. And if they don't have the reason as being COVID, you can go ahead and write that in as your reason. Um, you can always give a reason that is not listed. Uh, you just have to write it on there to make sure that they know that they left something out. Absolutely. Um, also, uh, so there's some legislation uh, in front of Congress right now for our next stimulus bill, which is important as, as it will help all of us be able to, you know, stay around, stay, li- stay alive, <laughs> uh-huh. stay funded. Yeah. Um So make sure that your representative knows. You can tweet at them if you want. That's the easiest way to do it. Or write them on Instagram. Almost all of them are on those things. Uh, And just let them know. You can put their phone numbers in your phone like I do. Mm -hmm. Under the starred contacts. So you can just boop, 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 boop. If you want to get your three stars, like, you know. Yeah, put it in in there. Your Angry Birds three stars. And you don't have to call them when they're open. You can call them late at night. I do it all the time. Yeah. It sounds weird, but um, it's not. I just call them and I leave them a message. I just say my name, what my zip code is, and what I think they should be doing. Or I thank them for doing a great job, depending on who I'm calling. And uh, so you can let them know that the HEROES Act is important because that will uh, get all the states to do vote by mail. Yep. And it also has uh, protections for the Postal Service. Yep. Because we can't do vote by mail if we don't have a post office. Yeah. And also, Crazy that we need to say I, that, but it's the truth. You can't get my Valentine that I'm going to mail you if you don't have mail. So. Courtney, will you be my Valentine? I'm a big fan of Valentines. I'm just going to tell you right now. I like I them too. Everybody does um, Christmas cards, and I feel like that just gets lost in the shuffle. So I am a huge fan of the Valentines because I live like I'm a third grader. And so... Um, Do you like, like me, like, circle oh, one, yes or no? <laughs> exactly. Slam book, but... Um, <laughs> But yeah, they probably don't have slide books anymore. But um, but they do have paper valentines, and I do like to send them out. So I personally would like the Postal Service to stay intact. Amen. Amen to that. All right. So those are the action items of the day. Uh, now, without further ado, hey, let's bring on our 
very special guest. You may know him from One Punch Man. That's where I know him from. Uh, also, he... Oh, go for it. Go, what? Thundercats Roar. Thundercats Roar as lion <laughs> uh, He is the amazing friend of the pod, or the show, or whatever we are, Max Middleman! <laughs> is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Is it happening? Uh, it's happening. I think. It says connecting. Wait for it. Ah. Yay! <laughs> hey, pal. Can you hear us? Me. Wow, that's the teeth. So good. We're There we go. We're a little spotty. Is there a massive friend. delay on this? There we go. I think we got you. Can you hear us? I can. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. I, I... Those dulcet tones are coming through beautifully. <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, <laughs> there's a Thundercat if ever I've heard one. What's up, you guys? Hey, just so you know, there's a, you a wicked now? there's a wicked delay on this thing. So you know, I say something and then I hear you like uh, five seconds later, ten seconds later. Uh huh. All right. All right. Well, well, I just want you to know that you're the only person that's had this problem, Max. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take you off Wi-Fi, and maybe that'll do the trick. Or it'll screw everything up. <laughs> All right, g give it a shot, and we'll brace ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined it. <laughs> no, we hear you. We hear you. You can hear me? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you're actually a little bit clearer, so I think we're good. Great. Hi, guys. This is fun. How's it going, pal? It's going great. Just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with you guys? You know, it's just a typical Tuesday in LA. No big deal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> your best COVID life. Oh, exactly. boy. What, okay, Max, what, um, what is the most weird or fun thing you have done since this all started? The most... Weird or fun thing that I've done. Please keep it clean. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. I'm I'm usually Mr. Dirty, so definitely won't go there today for you. Thanks, Courtney. Right. Yeah. Uh, the weirdest thing I've done <laughs> is I've started exercising. That's the weirdest thing I've done. <laughs> Amen. Amen to that. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, uh, you know, I, 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 I can't think of what's the weirdest thing I've done. Um, I've fallen off the wagon in terms of, uh, diet and exercise. And then I got back, sure. back on the wagon and then yeah. I've gotten back off again and then back on, um, then off and on. I'm currently on. So that's good. That is a really forgiving wagon that is waiting for you to get. <laughs> <laughs> when I get off it, it stops for me. What'd you say, Courtney? Yeah. What'd you say, Court? I said it's a very low wagon that is at a full stop. It's parked. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool. What kind of exercise are you doing? Uh, the huge, what, what, what can you do without a gym, JP? You can do squats and push-ups and all the body weight exercises that we love so much. Yes. Yes. You can do crunches. You can do cardio kickboxing. You mm -hmm. can rope you can i mean there's a lot of stuff mm -hmm. i don't do the uh last two things you said because that <laughs> requires your heart rate to be elevated <laughs> right Pretty right this, this is all strength <laughs> this is all strength training <laughs> yeah 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 i gotta be the strongest you know it's the whole side time i think so. yes he's one punch man not like 12 mile man <laughs> yeah. exactly he's not he's not there for endurance man. Cool. Um, so, uh, well, welcome to our voter registration pod uh, show. Why do I keep calling it a podcast? You, you have creative answer, baby. This is not a podcast. The, I know. I know. <laughs> One day I'll be able to do a program that does not involve people seeing my face. Um, <laughs> uh, so, 
Max, uh, what are you doing to keep inspired and motivated during this time? Is there anything? I mean, we're we're artists up in here, and you know, it's it's hard to keep the inspiration going when we're just staring I at the same four walls. I see the inspiration actually behind Max. Behind me. <laughs> oh, there's a full bar. There's a full bar. <laughs> Full bar. <laughs> would normally be maybe a, a kitchen prep area, maybe for no, you know, no, no. Like a no, fruit no. for your full smoothies. Bar. Yeah, yeah, plenty, of, plenty of scotch. Fruit. Fun fact: I haven't had a sip of hard alcohol uh, since this started, or, or ever, ever, ever. But also since <laughs> this started. Uh, Let's talk about it, Max. We need some. Like everyone's got like kind of a signature cocktail that they've been working with. Um, it could be virgin. Uh, a virgin, uh, a virgin old fashioned. <laughs> Can that be done? It's, it's, just a, it's just a cherry and a, and a, and a orange peel in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious, he's not gonna get scurvy, guys. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, we've, we've been experimenting with uh, kombucha as a mixer, which I'm told is tech. Wow, well, because well, because it was in the fridge, and it was like ginger, and we're like, well, this is we didn't have ginger else. So we're like, well, we could sort of make a mule with this, right? And it has less that's, sugar. Yeah, that's the enjoyment of cocktails Basically, is just less sugar. Drinks yeah. where I just mix all the alcohol in my uh, cabinet with uh, Country Time lemonade. There you go. And it's delicious. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm looking at the uh, the comments here, and um, people are real keen to uh, to quote quote my character from Persona Five. In fact, that's all they're doing. <laughs> so so can you can you give us a little bit of that individual? Uh, for real, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's that's his famous line. I don't know why, <laughs> but in the into it. what's that? Yeah. Everybody's lo everybody's losing their mind. They're losing their mind. Uh, in the original game, they uh, they had my character say those two words many times. I don't know. I don't know because it, I don't think it was translated. It was originally a Japanese actor, and I sure. don't think he says for real <laughs> in Japanese. So I think it's whoever localized it into English. That was just their thing that they wanted to give the character, like, you sure. know, as a, as a little hook and, and, uh, and it stuck. And then catchphrase. when the second, yeah, it's a catchphrase. And then when the second game rolled around, I think they did it a little too much. Like every other line was for real. <laughs> so um, now I can't. So it went from a catchphrase to just like a nervous tick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. It's been an amazing session <laughs> where you just said for real. 120 times in a row. It was so good. Actually, someone put a, a super cut of every time I say for real in the game. And to my credit, and I pat myself on the back, they're all different. They all sound completely different. You went You went to the Vin Diesel, I am Groot school of acting. <laughs> Correct, yes, yes. <laughs> so this is important, kids, because if you want to do voice acting, you're going to have to, you know, compete against this. So you have to learn how to do for real 120 different ways. No, so no. Really Make your own funny. catchphrase. Make your own two word catchphrase. Like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. <laughs> what's that? And then beat it to death. <laughs> and then beat it to death. Yeah. yeah. Hey, guys, I just want to show you. Yes. A f I, w I used to be obsessed with fidget spinners. Okay. Uh huh. And a fan <laughs> got me a fidget p spinner pillow. And I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> wow. That is that. And not only a, a fidget spinner pillow, but a, an especially trippy one. Is, uh, I, right? Yeah. There you go. Whoa. I mean, between that and the pink lights you've got going on in the background, like we're going full. Those light. are, you, wait, why are they pink? I didn't, oh, you know what they're doing? They're changing. Little fireball they're, thing and just start twirling. Yeah. Um, you uh, inadvertently, inadvertently, um, you j were just uh, humming the um, Mega Man song, weren't you? When you just the did that The one that I was just, just doing? Yeah. Da -da 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 
What well, is that? The, I, I think, no, I think I was doing the, the do you remember the Mortal, Mortal Kombat? Kombat movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, but. Okay. Yeah, they're, but they're very they're close. Similar. You're not uh -huh. wrong. They're very uh -huh. close. Uh, so, Max, uh, BrogyBear95, who's on the Instagram, wanted to know, if you could play any character from a video game, movie, or TV show, who would you like to play and why? Oh. <clears throat> Who would I like to play? Um, you know, I've been watching Avatar The Last Airbender. The whole series was just released on Netflix. And uh, I was kind of into it. When did it come out? It came out when I was like, wait, what year did it come out? 2006, 2007? Or mid, yeah. Yeah, so I was like 16, 17. So I was a little late. Like, I, I wasn't watching too many cartoons at that point um, as, yeah. I, that I, as I was when I was younger. And... Um, I watch plenty of cartoons now, which is funny. Um, but uh, I I was super into it, but I remember just being like, oh, I've got other things that I, I want to do too. I want to hang out at the mall with my friends. <sighs> anyway, yeah, <laughs> right. So, um, but I was super into the show. Pizza. And every time it was on, I would, I would sit down and, and watch it. And so, uh, um, I'm a big fan. What was my point? My point was, uh, I really like the character of um, uh, Sokka. Sokka? Sokka. Oh, okay. Do, do, you know the, do you know the show? I haven't watched it in a minute. I watched a bit of, I watched a bit of Korra. Um, uh, but yeah. Korra, yeah, watch, yeah, yeah. I didn't watch as much of the original. And I, I was thinking that, uh, so PJ Byrne played a character in Korra who I'm obsessed with. I think the choices he makes are really fantastic and unique and so funny. And Sokka was kind of the same way. And so if I get to play, not those characters, but a character like that in the future, then I, I'd, I'd be really happy. Ryuji's kind of like that, but I, I'd like to do something like that for an animated TV show. Very, very cool. Nice. Nice. Uh, it's, I was just thinking, I, so, what were some of those? Somebody just said... Stop looking down at me with that stupid smile on your face. That's and, another Ryuji one. <laughs> yeah. No, because, Court, was it when we had Yuri on? So I was looking at the comments and somebody was like, shut up. No, you shut up. You shut up. And I, and I was like, oh, my God, they're trolling each other. Is anybody going to, in, in, like, intercede? <laughs> and, he's, she, and, and Court's like, no, they're quoting. It's all quotes. I'm like, oh. Oh, okay. Although I do have a question about it's like a meaty explosion in my mouth. No, we shouldn't go there. <laughs> Just checking. All right. Just checking. Yeah. Cool. Keep your keep your question. We'll talk about it later. So, um, another I have a question for yeah, you. Yeah, hit it. Via, um, uh, I, I can't. One, one, lamb, one I am Matt on Twitter wanted to know, how old were you when you learned to play the keyboard? Now I know that you can do other things musically, but I was- Oh, you mean, <laughs> oh, you mean, it? oh, there it is. <laughs> Just, it was like, I, that see, uh, keyboard? I see some shelving, I see, oh, there's a keyboard. Yeah, I yeah, guess yeah. that's not, my, my whole apartment is very messy right now. I shouldn't even be. Um, <laughs> Join the club, this, this curtain <laughs> is a ruse. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, how old was I when I, I, I started at age six and I okay. learned for six years. And then when I was in high school, I joined the rock band, rock band, which my high school was, my grade was like 80 people. So there wasn't much of a rock band. And then at my sure. sophomore year, uh, there was a jazz band. And so mm -hmm. I, was in, I was in both of those. So that's that's the extent of my piano study, and then um, recently I picked it up again because I I do um I do a bit of uh, music production. So oh cool. Is there mm -hmm. have you ever or is there any inclination to try the guitar? Ooh, you know. Um, say yes. Say yes, please. <laughs> uh, please. Please sure. start a YouTube channel. I will watch it sure. every day. Yes. <laughs> I gotta learn this thing first, though. Is that, is that, a, you see is that like electric drums? Yeah, it's a crumpled up electric drum. I've, I've smushed it to the side of my apartment. Um, but uh, yeah, I, um, I, you know, here's the thing. I took a drums class in college. It was so uh -huh. much fun. And I realized 
I didn't want to play the piano. I wanted to play the drums all my life. Why did my parents force me to play the piano? So I bought this electric drum kit and I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to take lessons and, and learn, be really good. And uh, ne never happened. So it's been sitting here for years. <laughs> I might, I might have someone that can help you out with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, you know, just <laughs> just a random person. Just a certain someone. Yeah, that's all. Just a random person. Who yeah, yeah. Know sure. Their way around some drums. <laughs> um, so listen, this is actually sort of a voter registration information, not a podcast, but IG live show. show. It's a show. Um, yeah. And. I'm kind of curious about you. I know that you look like you're 12, but you are old enough to vote. And do you remember your first time voting? Anything like special about voting that stayed with you? I'm going to be honest with you. No. He's never voted. <laughs> 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 Thanks so much, Max. Okay. I, uh, no, I, I, I don't, I, I honestly don't remember. I was trying to think about this actually uh, last night um, before <laughs> in preparation for this. I can't remember my, I can't remember how I voted the first time I voted. I know I voted because I remember thinking about it, <laughs> but I can't remember how it went down. Did I go to, because I would have been in college, my first year of college, um, for the, um, uh, for in 2008, that's my, my first voting year. And, um, so would I have sent in a ballot? Would I have voted at the, in, in Berkeley? I went to UC Berkeley. Was it at Berkeley? Was it in right. LA? I don't remember. It's bothering me. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't remember my first official vote like as an actual registered voter. I do mm -hmm. remember though, and kids don't try this at home. Uh, I do remember that my dad was not a very involved voter. So he would take, when, when I was a little kid, like when he had to pick me up and he would take me to the polls and he would just like lift me up and let me press all the levers. Oh, nice. So I probably voted for some horrible people <laughs> along the way. <laughs> he didn't say but like press this one. He, he, he was just like, go wild kid. <laughs> Yeah, that yeah, I so I'm sure I'm sure I, I probably voted for Ross Perot. I'm certain that happened. But um, oh, yeah, <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I don't I don't I don't remember my very I don't remember first vote either. Yeah, I remember my boyfriend at the time voting. Um, I remember him voting. And I like I have racked my brains. And I remember some of the like circumstances around different times that I voted, whether I was happy or not happy. But I Having been super involved my entire life, I am kind of surprised that I don't remember. So, make something up. <laughs> <laughs> make yeah. make something. Are you saying? Are you telling me to make up a story right now on the spot of like my first time voting? Yes. <laughs> it was a dark and stormy Tuesday. <laughs> it was terrible. It was the worst cloudy day in Los Angeles since. No, or maybe it was Berkeley. We'll make you guess. <laughs> yeah. 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 I didn't know you went to Berkeley. I did for a full five months. <laughs> uh, oh. I went for a uh, single semester. Here's the story. You want the inside scoop? Do we have yeah. time for the inside scoop? That's what we're here for. Uh, so I was, I was accepted at UC Berkeley along with a friend of mine from high school. And uh, I thought, oh, how perfect. This tiny little high school uh, and t both of us get to go together. And so we roomed together for the first semester. We were pledging a fraternity and we did all the fun stuff you do in college. And then um, two weeks before uh, winter break, he said, um, he said, uh, oh, this is, a, this is a funny story now that I think about it. In retrospect, maybe you'll understand why, but um, two weeks before winter break, he said, uh, I'm, I don't wanna go here, I'm gonna go to UCLA. And I said, what? And, and in my head, you know, we were gonna room together for four years and we had this whole plan. And, and uh, he was like, yeah, I'm gonna go to UCLA. And I said, but you didn't get accepted to UCLA. And he said, uh, yeah, my mom called the, uh, the uh, head of the school and I'm, she got me in. And, um, Thanks for I said, 
<laughs> so I said, so wait, so I said, uh, I said, yeah, 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 cool, that's fine. That, do that, that doesn't uh, um, mess with me at all. And uh, I called my mom and I said, mom, I don't want to be here anymore. Get me into UCLA. <laughs> And because uh, I got rejected from UCLA, we both did. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mom said, I can't do that. I, I don't know the president of the school. And, uh, and I was freaking out. And so I, I actually was accepted at USC for the spring semester. And uh, I called them up and I, I had initially turned them down, but I called them up and I said, Hey, can I still, can I still come to USC? And they said, uh, sure. <laughs> so but I was accepted there. <laughs> That's the point of the story, is I didn't you know, call a school. You know, I have always school. taken pride in us being fellow Trojans, Max. And now that I know that it was third choice. <laughs> it was all a ruse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Fight on. Uh... Fight on. Go Bears and fight on. But only if you feel like it the third time. Uh -oh. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Max, uh, another random question. Uh, this one from Miss Abby Spirit on Instagram. I think I've heard it. My apologies, Miss Abby, if I screwed that up. What did you name your Animal Crossing Island? Uh, what did I name my... Oh, that's a great question. I think I called it... Oh, I should, I should find out. Wait. <laughs> my <laughs> my <laughs> AirPods just came out of my ear. Wait. Uh... Where's you're gonna my... fire. You're gonna fire up your your system for the, like your switch. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> hang on. Uh, oh, where is it? Where's my Where's my switch? Oh, here it is. The show's uh, gonna be a little longer today. <laughs> why? When? How long is it normally? <laughs> I mean, uh, we go about we go about forty five minutes. But I mean, yeah. you know, but, I don't know. Take your time. I, I mean, these this these are the important questions people want answered. That's what I matters. I think I called it Jelly Island, but I'm not sure. I'm going to... Oh, no! I called it Jelly Donut. <laughs> I like that. There I, you go. I, go I don't need to take out my Switch. I know what I called it. I played it for like two hours, and then I stopped playing it, so... And Miss Abby's commenting, Miss Abby, don't you, don't you apologize for causing Max distress. This was, this was all entertainment. That's <laughs> right. Uh, I should say hi to some of these people. I should say hi to, in particular, jellyfish underscore jelly11. <laughs> um, Brian Parks. About Animal Crossing. What's, what did you say, Courtney? Who feels very strongly about Animal Crossing and is sending lots of messages with clapping hands. And oh, okay. Like All right. Um, yeah. And Animal uh, Crossing. Show Show 2007. Pa Paradis Deceive Invite. One of these I'm, is going to be a, a like a curse word or a slur, and I'm going to be like, uh oh, uh, Mariah Ruiz, Jesmy Find, sure, Ivy and the Spooky Kids, awesome, Violet X, Yoshizawa, nice, Lilisa in the house. <laughs> going to be our show today. <laughs> just, <laughs> just reading names. Ivy and the Spooky Kids is our social media person, so we love. Oh, okay. Ivy. Yeah, yeah. Well, then I take that one back. Uh, Kinky yeah, yeah. Horse. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. See, I knew there was going to be one that I <laughs> was going to say. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right. For you, uh, just a little, I have a quickie for you, Max. Um, Please. From Simply Charming MTX on Instagram, what role have you done that is most different from your normal voice? Um, <clears throat> well, you've got two ends of the spectrum. You've got... <laughs> A great question because you of I know a lot of voice actors and you always amaze me because I have I had met you long before I mean I've known you for a long time and I had met you long before I ever heard any of your work and I am amazed at how deep your voice can be. Yeah, well, Lino, it's like <laughs> Lino. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, and, yeah. Um, uh, the what's his face from uh, Final Fantasy Seven too. Oh, that's right. Red 13. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, cool. Yeah. If the beatboxing doesn't work out, you should... <laughs> if you have my main career, <laughs> then I can yes. follow up with my side career voiceover. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, What's what character is the most... Uh, the most... Um, different? Well, so you've got two ends of the spectrum, right? You've got, um, like... Um, Flag from Miraculous Ladybug, who's kind of like textured and charactery that way, and then mm -hmm. um, 
and then you've got like the the deeper characters. I'd say like one that I really pushed was uh, or pushed it not not felt pushed, but really what kind of felt pushed was um, the Quarren from uh, Battlefront Two, Star Wars Battlefront, and uh, and that was resume. <laughs> Everything was shouted and uh gravelly and taken to attend that's when i say pushed it was pushed because it was all really really loud and it was in a different language entirely so that might be and someone also my my fans are great someone put a super cut of all his lines uh 22 minutes worth of his lines all of them on youtube so you can hear what he sounds like okay is is that is a Quarren the squid face dudes that are from yeah Tentacle Guy. Ackbar's planet but not yes. his race like the different yes. the other people Got yes it. yes yeah they look like um they look like uh the pirates of the Caribbean uh what's what's his face Davy Jones yeah yeah <laughs> yeah the little Cthulhu dudes yeah <laughs> by the way have you guys seen tangent have you guys seen Clue from 1985 of course you have right flames from the side of my face on the side of my face. It's so funny. Yeah. One plus two I, I plus wanted, two plus one. <laughs> I've wanted to watch that film for so long. And the other night, I finally sat down and watched it, the whole thing in its entirety. And it's so good. It's so good. And Madeline Kahn is so good. Rest in peace. She And I, I went down a rabbit hole and I started watching like all these Madeline Kahn uh, clips from over the years. And she's so yeah, the talented. Welcome, come on in. <laughs> no, no, so talented. No. Yes. Yeah. 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 I actually did her song, her song from Blazing Saddles in one of my miscast cabarets. That was, I'm tired, tired of swimming the gay. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, her. Uh, she's so good. Wow, that is a loud helicopter. Good pull, Max. Good pull. Thank you. Yeah. Um, all right, Max, we have to ask you the serious question. Yes. Who are you voting oh, for? Oh, wait, by the way, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the weirdest thing I've ever, the weirdest thing I did in quarantine was shave my head. That was the weirdest thing I've done in quarantine. You shaved your head? I shaved my head. That was a couple months ago. It's, it's, it's getting oh, it's back there, okay. you know. That's the thing? Did you, did you post yeah. pictures? Did you just go full? There's a picture like, on Twitter. Punch man? I went full one time. I even made a post about it. Yes. Okay. All right. Did you do a uh, Now I know that like every bald, like truly bald, glistening bald guy I know swears by the there's like the the drunk guy who got a hold of some clippers and shaved his head, or there's the guy who like took the disposable razor and like did the whole thing and glistened it up. Which one were you? No, I I just I did the butt. So okay, here's the honest truth. I, was, I wasn't trying to shave my head. I was trying to give myself a, a slight trim, like a, like a military haircut with like the number three or the number four, whatever, you know? Sure. Yeah, and yeah. Um, and it, wasn't, it wasn't working. I don't know what I was doing wrong. It wasn't like getting any of my hair. And um, I was like, you know what? I'll just, I'll just like freehand it. So I took it, I took the clip, the, the, the thing off, the spacer off. And I, the second I did it, it like dug into the side of my head, <laughs> took a big chunk out. <laughs> and I was like, well. It's like a lawnmower. Yeah. Once it starts. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. It's got a mind of its own. Mm -hmm. Never take yeah. the little governor off. And also, <laughs> yep. you got to cut it short, having shaved my own head. Uh, you got to cut it short first, pretty short, to get it to and then let the, uh, the trimmers do the it thing. Was, but that's the thing. It was already short. I... I'll never do it again. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you enough. take care of your clippers? Do you oil them and stuff? I mean, you gotta like... What? Like a, a With what? Thing. Canola? Yeah. Yeah. You have to like... Are you I, serious? Oil, but something, I can't remember what we used to use. Back in the day when I shaved my own... I mean, you could it. use flaxseed oil because you, that's what I use to season my cast iron. So that's the yeah, same thing, right? olive oil. I mean, what's gonna... I don't know. We probably used no Crisco idea. when I was a kid, but um, but it worked and it keeps them in good shape. And then you don't have the uh, the jiggling plates that cause divots in your head. Yeah. Can I use Pam? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure well, the next some time place I place on Google that says that's okay. 
<laughs> I know. There's got to be a YouTube video. Just sure. look it up. Yeah. There's definitely someone who said the Pam sure. Pam okay, Razor but... Challenge. Yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> back to it. Back to it. Back to a, the the moment at where we were at. So, uh, so we asked the question of everybody, who are you voting for? And when we say, who are you voting for? We don't mean the actual candidate or anything. We just mean that when you are casting your ballot this November, who in your life will be on your mind? What does that mean, JP? <laughs> I mean, like, okay, for-, for In a larger context. I mean, like- for middlemen? <clears throat> what's good for you right now in this moment? Or are you thinking no, of a that's, scale? Or is there a that's a good question. Or, so, know, so yeah. Have issues that you might incorporate into your own voting that may or may not affect you. Yeah. Like a lot um, of people have said their kids, but obviously nobody in this circle has them. So well, <laughs> my, my future kids. And that's actually right. kind of the truth. I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the future. I'm still a youngin, you know? Uh, we all are. And so I think we have to definitely consider um, the effect that, the, you know, whoever the next president has and their um, politics will have on the on future generations in the next 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years. So um, so that's what I will have in mind when I go to the polls um, and not just considering what's happening now, but but going to happen as a result of the changes that happen now. True. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. Ship around. There's somebody that uh, somebody that commented. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, but there's some. There's a lot of people in love with Ryuji. Yeah. There's somebody that commented. How does one make those tough decisions? about about voting? And I just wanted to shout out to them and Max, feel free to chime in. But uh, I think one of the things that we talk a lot about for every election is a voter registration, a vote, I'm sorry, I would say that, voter info party, which now yeah. you'd have to do on Zoom. But basically like, you know, uh, all of these decisions take research. All of these decisions take, you know, taking the time to look at respected news sources and finding out what these people have said and what their records are and, you know, making informed choices. And that's the answer is, is informing yourself yeah. and educating yourself. And if yep. you don't know something, you don't have to remain ignorant. There is a wealth of information out there. And most of the information or a lot of the information is factual. And that's the information you want to go for. Yeah, for sure. And um, we promote these parties that you can have with some friends is it, like, <clears throat> I don't know about everybody else's election, but in California, we have a huge ballot with propositions and judges and all sorts of stuff. When you divide it up amongst your friends and say, okay, you take these three judges, you take these propositions, everybody researches themselves. Mm. It's not about coming to an agreement with everybody, but it is about like, oh, okay, everybody told me the facts that they learned. Now I can kind of make an informed decision based on right. that, rather than just being like, uh, like my dad, you know, taking your toddler and having them press all the buttons. <laughs> yes, uh, I agree. Cool. Um, cool. Yeah, Pork lips. Like, you know, I, if anyone like laughs at you or yeah. scoffs at you for wanting to know information about like your future or who you're voting for, I find that most people are really excited to talk to. If you're asking in a respectful way, talk to you about you know the ins and outs of voting itself and also why they are going for a candidate or an issue. So um, I think it's important to look at. Uh, you know, publications that are on, you know, reputable, um, but also talk to your friends. You know, there's always that one friend who does all the research or, you know, kind of knows what's up and uh, gets all the phone calls on the day before, like, who should I vote for? Um, that person in your group is going to be like, hey, I'll take a moment and talk to you about this because it is important. Um, so, yeah, just reach out to people. Max, there's a few people in the in the chat who have said, Adulting is scary. Um, yeah. What What thoughts do you have for people that are like uh, too much? I too don't. Much. I don't know. I don't think it's that scary. I think there's like some basics uh, that you have to learn. What I mean, break it down. I've I've tweeted <laughs> certain ad adulting jokes before, not adulterous jokes, but adulting jokes, and. Sure. Um, 
yeah, they're just jokes because it's not that scary. It, it, if you like to think for yourself and not have other people tell you how to think, and maybe some people like other people to tell them how to think, but um, I think, I don't know. What about adulting is scary? Not having your parents like make you dinner. Okay, bills. Okay, but you know what? Uh, I was more excited about. Yeah. I was just gonna say I was more excited about like my independence, mm -hmm. and like the freedom that I was going to get by being an adult than the bills that I would have to pay. Like I value my independence more than whatever bills, you know. Right. Yeah. And I think to, to, uh, to address the comment that Porkletz uh, said is that the independence of it is what I fear, honestly, is, you know, the life is, uh, is something that is a path that you either boldly tread yourself or you are led by the hand. And, you know, there is the view along the journey is far greater when you can choose it than if it is just, you're just on a, metaphor I, I come up with is like you're on a tourist bus and you just go where the tourist people tell you to go. Locals go. They tell you what's up where all the good food is. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's the also, truth. Also, uh, Jellyfish Jelly, just want to interject here. Jellyfish Jelly 11 says, it depends on the situation that you're in, I guess. For someone who's poor, it would be more difficult than for someone who's rich. Well, the cool thing is, is that voting is supposed to be across the board. Everyone yep. gets a vote. So if you are uh, experiencing financial hardships, this is a way it's even more important for you to get out and vote because you can't always vote with your dollars, which is another great way to let your opinions be known. Um, but as somebody who used to be very poor and grew up on welfare, I can say that uh, coming from that, I cherish my ability to get my opinions known and also to remember that that's where I came from and that those opportunities were given to me because people voted those things into place. So you have the opportunity to do that for other people as well. Yeah. And to anybody that thinks like, but my vote's not going to matter. I mean, all of these things, blah, blah, blah. So many, especially on the local level, uh, so many of these elections are decided by handfuls of votes. So yeah, your vote does matter, especially now. So anyway, now that we've talked about all that, um, Jellyfish is feeling better. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, Max, uh, Redubs for Fun on Instagram said, would Plague be able to beat Saitama with Cataclysm? I don't understand any of those words. Yeah, what did you just say? Huh? <laughs> Unfortunately, no one can beat Saitama <laughs> with anything. Okay. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, yeah. that's fortunate for Saitama, unfortunate for anybody facing him. I, I, hope, I hope they weren't a Plague fan, because they might be very sad by that. But uh, <laughs> I'm, d Listen, I tell truth You don't here, make the rules. Okay? I, I don't make the rules. These are facts. Cold, hard facts. This is Saitama canon. Saitama is, is canon. strong. It's, the, it's canon. This whole conversation is canon, by the way. So, uh, <laughs> um, no, uh, Plague could probably defeat any anybody else with Cataclysm, not Saitama. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, oh, and uh, Sasquatch Girl from Twitter wanted to know, if you were a character in Super Smash Brothers, what would your taunt be? For real? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's my taunt. <laughs> That's it. Uh, May... Zing. Um, Max, this is this has been so much fun. I'm so glad it has that you, been fun. You, you joined us today. Um, so everybody's been talking about Ryuji. Uh, and since we already wait, so Ri, who who does the for real? For real is whose thing? My thing. Ryuji's thing. Oh, it is Ryuji's thing. Okay. Then, yes. Okay. Um, other than Ryuji, this is to the to the uh, to the viewing audience. Other than Ryuji, because we've already heard from him. Who would you like Max to sign off as? We always have our we always have our uh, our guests sign off the show in character. So which character <laughs> should it be, if not Ryuji? And not beatboxing. <laughs> oh, we want to pimp you out on that so bad. <laughs> uh, do you uh, here? I'll vamp. I'll vamp and beatbox. Great. Um, Did I 
vamp enough? That was that was amazing. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got a lot of plag. Yeah, blur. Um, I can't even. Oh, uh, you were correct. Atsushi. <laughs> and uh, let's see. We got Troy from Borderlands. Um, dealer's choice, Max. Uh, uh, yeah, it is dealer's choice. It seems. Um, I will. <laughs> I will sign off as um, Plag from Miraculously. Did anybody say Plag? I'm just choosing a random. A, a bunch of people did say Plag. Said plag. Yeah, yeah. Great. Great. <clears throat> uh, anything that I, I'm supposed to say? Do you have a sign off? Uh, we do not have a particular sign off, though. If you just tell everybody to make sure they register to vote. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, hey guys, um, Adrian and I are going to the polls in November to vote, and you should too. So go to your local polling place and vote for your favorite candidate. This is Flag saying, I love cheese. <laughs> That's he does. He loves cheese. Amazing. Really close to like a like a baby guy Fieri, and I'm totally into it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! You are correct. If they do, if they do Muppet Babies of Food Network, got to be it. there. It is. Dri drive is what's his show? Dri dive drive-ins diners diners drive-ins drive and, and dives dives. Mm -hmm. What's up, guys? This is Baby Guy Fieri here for <laughs> drive-ins diners and guys. No wait, I couldn't even say it correctly. Flag. What? What'd you say? <laughs> say welcome to Flavor Town as Plague. Welcome to what Flavor am I, Town. Your monkey. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Ready? All right. But this isn't Plague. This is Baby Guy Fieri. This is uh -huh. Baby Guy right, Fieri. Right. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> welcome to Flavor Town. <laughs> That's silly. Uh, I love you. This has been amazing. I love so you guys. To see Thank you, buddy. you so much. This was so well fun. This is the most social interaction I've had in months. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go use that bar behind you. It, it, it's feeling underused. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll be right there. All right. Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon. All right. See you, pal. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Well, I said he trusts the best. I love Max. Uh, thanks so much, everybody, for being here. Uh, and uh, you can tune in on Thursday, same time, to see Kari Walgren. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so come and join us to chat with Kari. Uh, and remember to be sure to uh, register to vote at home at bit.ly slash nerds at home and subscribe to Nerds Vote. Yes. Awesome. So and the Heroes Act. Yes. And the Heroes Act. For sure. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks so much, you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.